Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And we are in the war room. The victory timer is ticking down. However, there are major reprisals on multiple fronts. Kovenbor is surrounded by bugs and a party boat. Pretty dope. All you guys out there saying the AI do doesn't build tier 3 plus units. Here you go. They built it. It's here. Tier 4 syndicate unit. Kind of cool. But still a fairly rare occurrence. Aval Mill is also under attack by more flying bugs. To the south. We have an AI army, a growth army, and the city that I want to take. And to the west, we have this broad... We have this very broad border. We are seeing major armies. It looks like there's a war going on here. But that might spill over to Hesterbur, which is grossly undefended. In other words, our hands are full. We're probably overextended, and this might get reset. But it's time to see what will happen. So, uh, to fight that. Now this, I don't know why they attacked me, or they didn't attack me last turn. They could have had, like, what? They could have attacked this slot with one, two, three, four armies. It had a 4v3, and they probably could have group these up a little bit better. Um, as it stands, they've given me the option to just fight 3v2 or probably even these guys can probably... Yeah, these guys are going to make it. So we're going to have a massive one-sided fight here to clear this out and probably even be able to take on the... Um, if we can swing it right, we'd attack this army here because that would give us... Um, the easiest fight against their tier 4 unit. So I, I documented this, I'm going to send this in as a bug because I think the AI should have attacked me last turn, or at least fixed their formation. Uh, doing this surround is just going to get them utterly screwed. On this front, there's this one lone army that's full of pretty, pretty much garbage. Um, however, there's no defense here. So, what that means is that we want to run to the defense, but I need um, I need anti-air units. Uh, this is probably our best case. None of these. I, I want the tank. I, I kind of want both of these stacks. Um, these guys have air. Those guys are air units. Um, hmm. I could throw the sniper in with this stack, and together they could probably defeat that. What happens if we send this here? So we'd have reinforcements. Uh, we've got an engineer, and we've got plenty of backline units. These guys are upgrading. What are you? You're a melee unit. And we've got an overseer, which doesn't really do a whole lot. So I think these guys can just handle that. Um, so I want to attack them. If I attack them, I don't get the... I don't get the reserve, which is a little bit weird, but I want these guys, I think, to maybe help me out over here. This is the big battle. <sighs> well, let's do the little battle first. I'm going to manual this. See what happens. So they do have a lot of flying units. I didn't want to just leave this army on the strategic layer, because uh, if I did that, they could go and attack one of my other undefended areas. I have to fight them. So, since they're all flying units, uh, we're going to move this guy forward, put up some cover. Um, guys, we go more over here. Give us an overwatch shot. This guy... I think it's going to make use of their cover. And we can get these guys out on the flanks. I think it'd be better if we face forward. 
So this should give us some surround potential. We have a trooper as well with extended range. Um, do I want him out in the open? Uh, let's see. I don't want to move him. Well. I think if they got in range to actually shoot this guy, they'd trigger all that as well. So, let's see what happens. Diversion projector makes it easier to flank. Unit offline. Okay, that's fine. Operations ready. Okay. So, what does that give us? Um, well, this guy is abusing the cover that we put out thoughtfully for our own units. We're going to get this guy well on the flank. Stagger. Uh, can I target and kill that thing? Not likely. Um, this thing doesn't have a huge... Hmm. What's our shot chance? Not very good. We could kill a unit. Enemy annihilated. So is this thing gonna do a lot of damage? Not a whole lot. Um what's our concussion chance? 65%. That Almost seems worth it, so let's go for it. We got it. That's phenomenal. Um, I think this guy's been blinded for some reason, so we can use Calibrate it. Um, don't want to stay in cover. Well, if I peek out, how much damage does this thing do? Oh, I have reactive shielding. I can afford to really dive and flank. Okay, we got a graze. It's not great. Is that double flank? Okay, I already did his thing. Um, wait, no, I want... Where is it? Arc discharge, right? We get a free kill and we get a stagger. That's Enemy destroyed. probably the best thing we could ask for. Okay. Get double overwatch. I can proc the overwatch with the tank, which is most likely what we're going to do. Um, I get a kill here. Let's go for the kill on the melee unit. Enemy killed. Okay, now this guy can run. And do a blind shot. And of course it is resisted on a 97% chance. I think it's already happened three times this campaign. Um, is this thing in danger? He's actually kind of in danger. So let's... What about this guy? I think that guy's less in danger. Wait, do I have to be adjacent? Oh, unfortunate. Um, I would have changed how I moved if I had rem if I knew, knew that. Oh well. Go for the yellow shot and it misses. Um, I don't want to spend my. Well, I have 14 operation points. Um, do I have like cleansing light for each enlightened unit? Uh, how many of you are enlightened? 
Oh, three. So it would be a 25 heal. I think that's good enough. Boom. Easy. Okay. Enemy destroyed. So this is a stagger and a crit. Oh, beautiful. Enemy eliminated. This guy has a kill, maybe. Enemy down. Especially with that enlightenment. Um This guy's actually in danger if I somehow don't kill him. So we are going to just run and hunker. I don't think this guy's a threat to anything else. Unit offline. I'm a sh okay. I should have taken the chance. I thought he could survive that. I should have double checked. Enemy killed. Our forces are victorious. Oh, we lost the unit. That is unfortunate. I might as well just leave these guys here. We have super duper um, unit mods. So these guys can now be all the way over here. And I would love this thing to have that to jump. Probably reactive shielding. Uh, and the shield of remorse when I have a chance. He is the Terminator because we'll probably only build one or two of them and they spell the enemy's doom. Okay. So, on this front. Holy cow, we have a lot of reinforcements. I did not realize how many reinforcements we had. So it's kind of a no-brainer to just move along the road. I think that costs us the least movement points and puts us in an ideal position. Um, I think we can fight 5v2 and just wreck this. These guys will have plenty of movement. Um, moving this guy forward, yeah. Do I want to auto this, or do I think my units can handle it? Ugh, I think they could utterly destroy them. So, let's put faith in the AI. Don't lose the unit? Well, it's okay if they lose a unit, I just don't want to lose, like, high tier units. Okay. That is a successful outcome. I am happy with that. So we freely killed those guys. Now the plan is to surround and try to get four stacks over here. Uh, these guys are kind of slow. These guys can get here. Uh, this stack can get here. This stack can get here. So, again, this is our best opportune fight. Um, I think we want to attack with this stack. So we do this, we should have a very decent matchup. Um, let's actually fight this one. We're not, like, outnumbering it 4-1 to one or whatever that last fight was. Okay, so, what is the battle plan with our huge battle? Well, we've got a whole lot of infantry over here. They have the central area and, most importantly, this army here with their tier 4. Some minor reinforcements there. These guys are probably going to relocate down here, uh, but we don't want to get pinced, uh, pincered by two forces while the rest of the stuff is moving forward. So mainly, this, these guys are going to move uh, this direction while most of our forces advance to the center. Uh, depending on how this stack moves, we'll, uh, you know, I think we'll just try to collapse and take the center. So these are our 
Bonanetas. Actually, we have uh, our pretty Funkadelic melee units. I think the range is being inhibited by these other guys. I don't know. But I want these units in position to take uh, artillery shots. Oh, they don't even have many units here. I can, like, just... I think I can just walk at them. So, we're just going to do that. Um... This guy will do Guidance to make this thing enlighten. Um, they don't have really many units to attack with. So I think I can honestly just run forward. Okay, and we have our dude that can summon other dudes. Uh, I'm gonna bring him over here just in case we want like a distraction to run up this flank. On this front, this is kind of the big uh, problem areas. I can, well again, there's no real punish over here, so I can actually just run my unit even though it's a little slower. I'm not too concerned about it. Um, this guy, we can get him behind a shot blocker. Um, I'm pretty certain they have AoE stuff, like, what does this bad boy do? He's got an Anthem, and he's got a Reinforcement Zone. Okay, so he can, like, heal a ton of people. And he's got some, not some cr got decent weaponry, nothing crazy. But we're going to use the shot blocker um, you know, to mitigate incoming damage and our jump troops can basically hard engage next turn. Um, we're going to move this guy back. Set up a turret, because why not? And our pug is going to run to the back line. So that front is settled. Now these guys, again, we can kind of be fairly reckless, right? It doesn't really matter. Um, this guy, move up here. Can actually move up even more. Um, I'm not too concerned about their troops in the vicinity. And I can make this guy enlightened. Our fanatic. Well, I don't even know if he'll buff this guy next for next turn, but we'll say that buff is gonna be really good on this thing. Uh, he turns like uh, the other Paragon units into super versions of themselves. Um, a lot of fun. Okay, so over here now the question is, do I want to fight these guys with this force? I've got a couple backliners. I've actually got a decent amount of range, barring this lady. Um, so why don't we actually war cry? And can I get... Let's get in an area where we have some decent... Attacks. Now this guy has like 68 HP, so I don't think he's going to die. Uh, they don't even have AoE, so I don't have to worry too much. But yeah, we're going to move forward, and hopefully that force will move on us. Um, and this guy... ...can get into cover, and then build a little drone. That's what he does. That's fine. So let's see what happens. I don't know why their tier four moved back. Operations ready. Let's see. So, should be able to win this pretty handily. 
40% hit chance. Enemy eliminated. Oh, just got they're getting fried. What's your hit chance? 50%. Enemy destroyed. Absolutely. Wrecked. Um So at this point, we're just going to run our units this way. There's no reason to even care a whole lot about cover. This so unit wants to shoot at something, we'll give it a little toy to shoot at. Uh, that's melee unit. It does melee things. So, where are we at over here? This guy isn't soul-burned. We can make him soul-burned. Or we can just shoot him with big guns. Um, actually, let's see. If I overcharge you, you have a pretty powerful AoE attack. Okay. You have like an AoE repeating stunning super duper thing. So those are the official words. Let's just bring this guy in and fight him. Okay. So that frees up this thing to, I guess, just fire here. Uh, can this thing get in position? This. These have like absurd lightning resistance. Like, what's going on? Oh, it's because it's the. That's right. I'm not shooting them directly, and they do like 50, half their damage. That's right. Okay. I understand the situation. I think. This guy should just win this. Yeah. This is like a once per battle. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. We we'll just blow this up. Enemy annihilated. Okay. Uh. Is there anything else I want to do over here? Enemy terminated. That was lucky. Uh, we can just teleport on this guy. Enemy eliminated. Alright, these guys aren't really in range yet. Uh, oh, those are the sniper dudes. Um, do I want to like fly over and run into them? Can I do that? I think the answer is I could, but maybe I don't want to. Not exactly in a huge amount of danger right here. So we are going to put our shields up and stay here for a round. This guy is ready to roll. Uh, Unit has fallen. That's fine. Unit offline. Great. Down. Okay. So, this is where we teleport in and get on these guys. And we could probably get a second unit in. Enemy annihilated. This guy can mess this one up quite a bit. 
Let's do that. Enemy down. All right. Even buff them. I'm trying to shoot at the units that can actually stagger and do something. Uh, let's see. Over here. This is just mop up at this point. Uh, mm -hmm. This lady is just. I guess just running at the enemy as fast as she can. Enemy terminated. Okay, so there goes the middle. These guys can just run. Uh, this unit can also just run. Oh, he can overcharge someone every turn. That is really good to know. Okay. So main concern are these units here. Um, I don't think they're in super danger, but I might lose a unit if I... Well, it doesn't look like I can impact that fight really any more than I've already done. Um, What do I do? Well, I can I can give two of them. Oh, I can get all three of them. That's a big deal. Oh, I have to target a unit. Unfortunate. Uh about arc discharge. You get all three of them. That should lower their potential damage output quite a bit. And that'll allow these units to push forward. Uh, That's it. Let's just end turn so I don't just click check marks all day. Oh, that's right, they had like a big AoE cannon. Okay, so really weren't able to do a whole lot against me, which is kind of what we expected. Uh, can these guys teleport in? No. So, at this point, we could just start attacking this thing. Um,. Might as well do that. Pop this one shields. I can't actually get over there yet. Um, staggered and blind it. That's nice. These guys are just running in to punch the tier 4 unit when they can. Um, guys are moving around. Oof, that wasn't a kill. It looked like a kill. Sounded like a kill. But it wasn't a kill. Enemy 
Enemy annihilated. Okay, that was a guaranteed. Oh, he's on fire. Um. Oh, he's still alive. Uh, that's where we do stupid things with our engineer. Maybe secure the kill. I don't think that'll happen. What I am getting out of this is that I really don't have a lot of range. Or like consistent range. I think at this point we're just gonna auto it. I don't think there's really anything they can do. I'm just erasing the Oh okay. Enemy Maybe I maybe they'll get my engineer killed. Who knows? Enemy destroyed. Killed. The assembly march on. So, probably could have autoed that. Uh, now that's just these two units left. This guy, and are we. It doesn't look like we're at risk of some reinforcement army coming down here and causing a problem. So, let's just stack our guys up and we'll just auto this one. Um, Arnie can do the flank. Oh, these guys aren't even in position to do anything, so they're going to come back. Uh, we'll leave these two stacks together in case there is something that comes out of nowhere, but that should be a pretty simple auto combat. And there we lose an electrocutioner. Oh well. Um, I don't even have the Cosmite to replace it, so we'll just do a bad trooper. <laughs> okay. So what that means, I think that was all of their armies. In fact, we can double check Operations that. available for priming. Kind of say, you know, what do you have left over here? That's their capital. That's a nice target. If that's their leader down there, then we're definitely going to go for it. So they don't have anything nearby. Um, are you alive? Okay, so is, is commander or is a uh, faction leader isn't anywhere nearby. We should be able to just take this next turn. We're gonna go for taking both these cities, and if I find his commander, I'm gonna kill him, and that should seal our claim on victory. Because it'll start being like I think we're how many sectors do we control? Yeah, we are like two sectors above the limit. If I can take this next turn. Uh, and kill their commander. Hope oh, I'm sh I'm assuming he's around here. In fact, let's try and catch him. No, but that was most of their armies. So that should be a freebie over there. We even have reinforcements. I totally forgot about. So all of this, we'll easily be able to take all of this. Uh, all these guys are basically waiting for a turn. Um, I'm still trying to figure out where their stuff is. 
Now in this front, I'm at war, I believe, with a lot of stuff here. So... I could attempt to fight this. I think since they're different factions and they're not allied, I'll just have to fight these two units. Let's see if that's the case. Risky battle. Why is it risky? Um, I've got a bunch of jetpack melee units. I've got snipers that can do horrible things. I've got a powerful melee commander. And I've got uh, plenty of tactical ops. I think this is going to be easy, but we should fight it. Okay. So, what's the plan? Well, our units are kind of surrounding the central blob. So, and it looks like they're making the move with this blob down here. I think the goal is to swing these guys around while these guys advance to the center. Hopefully we fight this group of units kind of in a 1v3 while these units, you know, trundle along. So, with that in mind, I definitely want to get my sniper units in close so that way they can really open up next turn. Uh, but I also want them in cover. I think that'll be... hopefully that'll be good enough. And then our jump troops... I don't want to risk sitting out. This will be fine. It'll be fine. Nothing's going to go horribly wrong. <laughs> and we've got our support to do a little bit of healing. And we're going to do essentially the same thing over here. Bring the snipers in. We have an electrocutioner. He should match up really well against that unit there. That's like a, the Autonom's anti-melee. Um, he's slow, he's trundly, and these ranged units should just rip him to shreds. Meanwhile, my jetpack troops want to basically get in position to uh, jump on their other units. This has a shot blocker. I think we want to get this guy all the way over here. Um, in the back line, we're going to summon a trash unit to throw out the enemy when we can. And that leaves this blob. So we want to move down to this space over here. We do not want to engage that. Uh, this lady can probably fire a rocket. Um, I don't know if I want to save it or just use it. Okay, well we got a stagger on that, so that's good enough. Um, over here, get behind the cover. Put out a trash unit, we can run them over here at some point. And this guy, our melee unit, um, you can get him over here and into cover. I do not want to be anywhere near that stuff, so this melee unit probably run over here and stay behind cover. Let's see if we lose stuff. So they got shield projection. Lost. Operations available. Okay, that was the unit I just built. Uh, so let's kind of push in over here. This is a free kill. Or I guess it's not a free kill, but it's a it's a pretty good shot. Um, we're just gonna use the sniper here. Enemy annihilated. And. Our melee units might as well just come in and kill this stuff. Okay. Enemy annihilated. The sniper can get a shot on this guy. 
Uh, I don't have any buffs for him, so we'll just leave it. Oh, we got a crit! Nice. That's super good. Nothing actually requires healing. Um, this guy does not want to be there. <laughs> so he's going to back up. Now this has another decent shot. Uh, what's your concussion chance? They're immune to that sort of stuff. So we're going to 80% with a graze. Feels good. Uh, our plan just is to try and get as many of these down as possible. Another graze. Lovely. Let's see if we can get this one. Oh man. I am not liking that. Hopefully they'll shoot this thing. I kind of don't, don't want to waste any more like decent actions on that. I could run this guy over there to try and kill him. I think that's the plan. Of course it's a miss. Why would I assume that I could actually hit a unit? This should kill him. Enemy eliminated. Okay, and we got rid of a networked layer. Um, that thing is getting hurt. I actually should be shooting at these guys, but um, I'm not. <laughs> Oh, it's so close. I want to kill that thing pretty badly. Um, so much so that maybe I could run this guy over here to do it. Me down. Okay. So that gets rid of a lot of the stagger. Um, this guy's kind of in trouble, but I can bring him back to life. So I'm not too concerned. Um, I want to stun this thing. I don't want to deal with it right now. Okay, so I don't have to deal with that. Um, I could jump my hero over here and try to take care of this. I don't think that's suicide for her. Um, I could also pop a heal on her before she goes, so let's do that. I want to take out a lot of the range damage, so I don't have to, like... I don't have to deal with it, essentially. Enemy annihilated. Right, because this guy can shoot at her, that's fine. Um, okay. This guy's probably going to die. But, you know, as long as this thing stays alive, and it stays alive, um, we should be good. So we're just going to run it back here. It'll probably die, but that's fine. So this is con this is contained. Um, I might actually lose my hero here. Yeah, they have like no protection. That might have been a really bad play. Uh, let's see what happens. Hero lost. Uh, can I resurrect them? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, she's all the way over there. Well, we'll save that one to accomplish that goal. Uh, this guy should get a nice clean shot. By getting clean shots, I mean missing horribly. This is our throwaway unit, so let's just throw them away. There we go. Oh, 
want to get our snipers up and ready to do something. It's like a once per... No, it's got three turns. Inch all the melee forward. where our hero is. I don't know if I can actually heal them. Um. Enemy down. It's perfect. So now we can run over here. Um. And this guy wants to get closer to our hero's body to potentially resurrect them. I don't know if that's something I can do, but we're gonna try it out. Because it's a uh, light cyber dead light cyborg unit. The hero wasn't isn't heavy. So what do we wanna do over here? Um I could just deploy a unit. I'm not anticipating a huge amount of counter stuff, so I kind of want to just drop this unit, maybe just double stagger it, <laughs> stagger ourselves and blind ourselves, uh, I shouldn't have, well why not, there we go. Lost. The unit has fallen. Okay, so Mr. Robot, can you? You can. Good to know. Um. That guy's pretty contested. He's ready to die. Um, Enemy annihilated. We can also stun that tank. Um, let's see. Take a graze. Uh, we can also get this unit on top of him. And we grazed. That's a little unfortunate. Enemy killed. So what's really left? Not a whole lot. Um, can heal up this guy. Move forward, we've got... I don't know, I think we're just gonna get in position and I can bring back this guy next turn hey we got a shot off
Um, kind of want to actually use this guy because he's useful in the current situation. Almost a kill. Enemy down. Okay, that's a big deal. Uh, can I signal shred? Where are you? There we go. Can I stun you? 79%, 64%, 100%. So if I stun this, so let's see. How much damage? You've got some solid damage. So do you. You, not so much. So I think we're going to go for the signal shred on this. There we go. Unit down. Enemy down. Okay. Minerva is back. We could start chowing down on that guy. Um, Okay. I'm assuming that thing has like a main gun. Kind of worried about it. Okay, I don't think we can do much with him yet. So I actually should have focused on that guy in the mid there. Um, do our paltry damage. That's a big deal. We got a blind off. Um, I don't think I can hit any of these other units. Just run up here, sit all pretty, and probably get attacked and die horribly. Oh, can I get a kill? Not likely. Uh, we lost a unit. Trying to remember where we... Oh, we lost him all the way over here. So this guy should run up just in case we can revive him. Um, I don't think I'm getting a kill on this guy. Unless... We could also go up in here. There. Uh, she could still die again. Um, this guy has a explosive round. Kind of want to shred him because he had. Or yeah, I want to. Signal shred him again because he has the AOE damage. Unit destroyed. We lost our support unit, but I think that's cheaper than our enemy kill. Can I revive a support unit? Oh, this guy's already used his stuff. Um. Reset the cooldowns there. This is the next most dangerous thing, so we're gonna take it out. Enemy kill. And I guess we're gonna try to stagger this guy. Hopefully not kill him. 
Um, yeah, he's pretty much dead. All right, we lost two units. Enemy eliminate the assembly. March on. I can live with that. We got some research for it. Huzzah! I think this is just autoable. No, it wasn't, unfortunately. But we clicked the button. Infernal launcher, universal cloaking shield. Let's just sell all that. Um. We're going to try migrating because it will give us more territory quickly. And on this front, what are we doing? Um. He already has that. She already has this. Uh, you're level 5. I think I need a better defensive module, so we're going to get Devour Hope, and then we're going to grab um, a different defensive module. Shield of Remorse gives us plus 1 shielding. That's uh, probably better. Also makes you enlightened. Sounds great. Just use. Uh, let's see. Missing support units. Uh, I could probably use another melee unit here. This is double melee, double sniper, and a support. Probably use that there. These guys. Send them back here to build another army. That's three ranged. Mostly a trash stack. Let's bring that back. And I guess we're going to keep building them. Uh, I'm not going to have like any Cosmite. Engineers. What do I even want here? Um, I guess we can get some mods, though. Our Cosmite income is going to be just Imagine. utterly throttled. Uh, top of the what do you want? We've got production, we've got an unexploited sector. The main thing that's going to give us value at this point. Uh, the main thing that's going to give us value is energy. Now we do have another slot. What did our, what did we get as the doctrine? The invader. Um, battlefield autopsies, scavengers. None of these are any good. Um, I guess that would just give us plus 200 support. We don't really need that right now. Um, so they're all building. 
We could rush this. Actually, just in case, let's start working on that. Okay. So the biggest gift to me would be is if their commander shows up over here. the crazy armies. Okay. Um, I don't know if we can beat that. Well, I have to try. If I lose this, um, that's a bad deal. So, big question. Can this guy... Alright, we can reinforce this. And we do have this super duper unit that now has this uh, uh, line of sight ignoring uh, lightning hopping ability. It's also got reactive shielding. I think it turns into like this crazy melee unit. And it has this ability, which is crazy because it can replenish the action points of up to three units. So it starts out as like this support unit that just says, hey, do you like action efficiency? You say, yeah. It's like, here, have some action efficiency. <laughs> um, but I think that's where we're going to break off this episode. Next thing is, can we handle the attack from the Western Front? Um, these guys left. Might have to take those out. And... Then I guess might look and see what's down here. Figure it out next time.